Throughout centuries on the islands, our people have been blessed and inspired by the Aloha Spirit. It's in our blood, or koko. It's a state of calm, peace, clarity, a confidence that we can conquer any problem and accomplish any goal. Nowhere is that spirit more alive than in the tradition of the fire and knife dance. A dance inspired by a centuries-old Samoan ceremony. It is a warrior's way of demonstrating courage and skill and honoring those preparing for battle. Fire and Knife Dance is like life itself. Together we are strong. Together we confront the fire as one. We draw on the Aloha Spirit to boldly face our fears and conquer the challenges that lie before us. But you must respect the fire. Learn to move with it. Learn to move around it. These warriors see fire as a force that drives them to ignite their spirit within. We call that Ulu. They do not fear the fire, for in facing it they discover their deepest power. But it takes more than passion from the Ulu spirit to master this dance. These warriors must cooperate to create stability amid the chaos. On the islands, we call it Pono. A true master of the dance studies the fire. It takes time to understand how it behaves. Rush into it, and you will get burned. Burned, burned, burned. But if you possess the Honui, the patience, the perseverance, you anticipate the flames. But the beauty of this dance the power it holds within comes from the unity of the dancers who always put the needs of the group ahead of any individual. We call it Ohana, or family. And we believe that if you must walk through the fire, then always walk through it as a family. Courage, perseverance, cooperation, passion, and preserving our sense of family. In the fire and knife dance, and in life, these are the forces that lead to success. These are the forces that define us and fill us with the Aloha spirit, the confidence that we can conquer any problem and accomplish any goal together. <laughs>